welcome back. While DiMartino's may be known for their muffalata, this traditional New Orleans restaurant offers plenty of great options. This morning, we are talking about another one of their great sandwiches with Peter and Ryan DiMartino and the legend herself, Angela Hill. Good morning, beautiful people. Hello. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and bringing something for all of us to eat. First of all, Peter, you have to talk to us about what this turkey sandwich is, because when you think of a muffalata, I don't always think of turkey. Yeah, what this is is what we call a turkey giardinero, which in, in Italian means uh, um, vegetables, pickled vegetables. Oh. Okay? And um, it's probably one of the most underrated sandwiches that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually served this sandwich at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, and uh, the people that know about the sandwich, they love it. I hear that, it looks so good. Ryan, you're gonna show us how you make it. Okay. What goes into this? Well, first of all, you start off with your turkey. Ooh, he puts a lot of turkey Beautiful. on there too. Mm -hmm. Very yummy. Okay. And what was the inspiration behind this entire sandwich? Well, we wanted to get into something a little bit healthier, and that's where the spinach and the artichokes come in. So you could blend the, the meat and the, and the uh, spinach and the artichokes together, rather mm -hmm. than just a traditional poor boy. Mm -hmm. okay. Ooh, look at all the good cheese. Mm -hmm. So cheese. we're going to take the cheese and the turkey, okay. and we're going to put it in the oven. And we're going to toast it for a little while. Yum. Yeah, we toast all of our sandwiches, and I can tell you this, that it really makes a difference in the bread. This is absolutely yeah. delicious. To uh, toasted bread. I mean, I remember when I was younger, every restaurant served toasted bread. Mm -mm. But that's mm -hmm. not true oh, today. Oh, Magic of television. Oh, so we happen to have one toasted already. So uh, the ingredients on this sandwich, like I said, turkey, provolone cheese. Then we start off with mayonnaise. Mm, some meal. And why he is decorating this beautiful sandwich, Angela, yes. I saw that a lot of times DiMartino's loves to put quality in their food. Tell me, what do you love so much about this restaurant? Well, let me tell you, you just said the magic word. I have never been there, and I have been there hundreds of times where I didn't have quality. Everything is quality. When he's talking about the bread, yes, toasted, but it's quality bread. All of their ingredients are just top-notch, mm -hmm. fresh. And that makes the difference. And I love, you know, I'm watching you. I've never had this. I'm going to get it the next I know, time. Right? Uh, but, you know, you can make a really boring turkey sandwich. Yeah. This is not. No. Mm. This is pizzazzy. Yeah. So they have fresh spinach, which mm. instead of lettuce, so it gives it a different thing. Um, bread and butter pickles, not regular pickles. Wow. So it brings a different type of flavor mm. to the sandwich. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yum. Some artichoke hearts. Okay. Oh, delicious. And I've never then, had artichoke hearts before. Not much. Just a little bit of olive salad. Yum. Let's talk about this olive salad. Yeah, that's is this the traditional thing. one we'll also find on the muffalata, or is it a little different? Yeah, uh, but it's important that it's not a lot of olive salad. In, in the muffalata, the olive salad is one of the main ingredients. Okay. This is an accent to the sandwich. And along with the bread and butter pickles, they diffuse the, the, uh, the tartness and it blends together mm. to give you a nice blended taste. Mm. Right? My mouth is watering. I Close know. it up and start <laughs> slicing us some pieces because yeah, I am hungry it up just looking five at or it. six pieces, huh? Right? Now I have to ask you all you all have been open for several years, four different locations. Congratulations on your newest one in Covington. Mm -hmm. What's the secret to be a being able to sustain such a long standing family business? I got to tell you, well, I come from the uh, food business. My dad owned, owned the little uh, supermarket in uptown. New Orleans but oh. and so I kind of gravitated what I knew I knew a little bit about a restaurant but at the same time it takes dedication it takes desire it takes hard work it takes everything like everything else it takes it all mm -hmm. and, and, and you're saying a few years it's been what 40 years 45 40 years. 45 years Amazing. but you know what the magic of these two father and son Tell us it's Angela. quality control they have systems in place where they are constantly making sure that if you come on a Wednesday and you come on a Friday and you come the next Monday, you're going to get the same quality. Wow. Not everybody does that. And what's cool is that through your restaurants, you're able to go up to the counter, order your stuff, and get it right there. And you all just don't serve sandwiches. What are some of the other things you all serve at your restaurants? We, we do have Italian dishes, spaghetti and meatballs, mm. chicken parmesan. Mm. You know, your traditional Italian. We also have some New Orleans dishes. We have gumbo, really? red beans and rice. Um, seafood. Shrimp. We have fried, fried seafood. Um, Po' boys, 
platters. Um, we also just had uh, salads if you're looking to eat some healthy stuff. All right. And burgers. Hey. So we kind of go run the whole gamut. Of and everything. let me tell you, <clears throat> big portions. So you can get a salad and split it, and then get a poor boy, or get this and split it. It's just, it's great. Mm -hmm. Should we try this sandwich, Angela? Oh, I want you. Sure. You oh, must you, do it. You sure? Okay, I'm going to try it. All right, okay. here we go. Oh, it's still warm. <laughs> here we go. Mm. Let's watch him eat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, the olive salad. The turkey, smoked turkey? Yes, smoked turkey. Mm. This is delicious. I know what I'm doing during the commercial break. Look, thank you all so much for being here this morning. Thank you. You all are a pleasure. Thank you, Malik. Angela Appreciate Hill, it. my goodness. A pleasure to finally meet you. I'll see you again. Yes, no. you will. Hey, DiMartino's has four locations. One in Covington, Terrytown, Marrero, and Algiers. To check out the locations and their great menu, you can log on to DiMartino's.com.